There's that man again. If you had one of those fragrances in your collection that you would say, you know what? I think I'm going to get a lot of wares out of this one. Even if you have a large collection, much like myself. But you have a handful of those fragrances that you know are going to be one of those ones that you're going to reach for on a constant. And what would be second tier and third tier? Well, today on the hot seat, we have Divine Aphrodisiac by Novitas Parfums. Is it going to be one of those ones? Or is it going to be second or third tier? Stay tuned, I'll tell you. One second. Ah, that's better. So, you gotta be dressed for the occasion, baby. This right here is the one of those ones fragrance review. And today on the hot seat, we have Novitas Parfums Divine Aphrodisiac. And this is a special one because this is one that was done by my guy, um, Darian, the Motai fragrance guy. And um, he's had a lot of people review it and talk about it and speak about it over the last couple of years or so. And, um, you know, and I believe truthfully that a lot of these guys gave an honest review on it. So trust me when I tell you, if it was bad, people are going to mess up their reputation as a fragrance reviewer just to try to help someone out. So trust me when I tell you, these guys, when they said that it was good, it was good. But for me... I will say this much, it is a good fragrance, but is it one of those ones? What do I mean by one of those ones? Is it one of those fragrances that I'm going to reach for on a constant, even with the many fragrances that I have in my collection, the many that I have to choose from, is this going to be one of those fragrances that is get, going to get more than two to three wears out of me this winter? So. Let's get into the fragrance review. First thing I want to do is put up the fragrance, and that would be Divine Aphrodisiac. Beautiful bottle. Heavy top. This is a quality fragrance, guys. Very heavy top. And you can see right here, the top says Novitus Parfums. Definitely a fragrance review. I'm a fingerprint magnet. But... It's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the scent, the fragrance itself. The first thing I want to do before I actually get into all of the rigmarole about that, I want to give you the fragrance breakdown, the note breakdown of this fragrance, which starts with top notes of Indian sesame, bitter almond, and saline cinnamon, and the hard notes of Moroccan Irish butter and peanut butter accord. And the base notes of praline, coffee, Haitian veteran, and Java veteran, all to give you, to me, this very thick and rich fragrance that also has a bit of elegance to it. And ironically enough, even with the thick richness of everything that you just heard me talk about, all of those fragrance notes that you just heard me talk about, it still has a little bit of an airiness to it. This fragrance here, as you can see, the atomizer is absolutely top notch, but the fragrance itself, you get the peanut butter right off the top, and I know that's not supposed to be one of the fr first notes that you catch. You're supposed to get the uh, the sesame and all of that, but the first thing that I smell when I spray this fragrance is peanut butter. Man, this thing is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. But on skin, for me, this opens up to be this beautiful, just very sensual and sexy fragrance. Uh, it actually melds into my skin perfectly. The 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 fragrance notes that um that come in this fragrance works with my skin chemistry perfectly. Like honestly, you couldn't have picked a better fragrance if you were me for this winter time, and it lasts for a very long time. For me, I got about eight to ten hours out of it, so you can't beat that. 
um, and also it projects really good. It projects extremely good. Uh, it's, it has a great sillage. The projection on this is top notch. I mean, honestly, this fragrance was done extremely well. This fragrance was done extremely well. And um, so far, I have reached for this twice. Okay, so spray it on my skin so I can because once again smelling in the air is one thing smelling off the strip not so much I don't like it on strip but who wants to like anything on the friggin strip you want to know what it smells like on you and for me it's best for me to spray it on the skin and right here on my skin oh my god the sesame the peanut butter the proline I mean this fragrance right here is phenomenal it's absolutely phenomenal now I say all of these things, but is this fragrance one of those ones? Is it one of those ones that I'm going to spray more than the handful of times I sprayed it already? Because I just got it. I've only had this since about, I would say, not too not too long ago, right before Halloween was when I got this. But so far, I've already sprayed it, sprayed it and walked outside twice with it. So, is it something that I would consider one of those ones? The answer is yes. It is definitely one of those ones. Why? Because I've already put it in my fragrance rotation for this week. And Mrs. Grizzly has requested this for our date night. So that will be four times I'm going to be wearing this since I've gotten it. So if I don't know, if, if that doesn't put it in the classification of one of those ones, I don't know what will. So for me, Novitus Parfum, Divine Aphrodisiac, definitely one of those ones get your hands on it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave a link in the description box everyone but i will also put in mr darian's fragrance code so that you can go to novice platforms and get his fragrances so what happens is the way that i got this because i got this one and right behind me i also have sartorio louis i got both fragrances number one because when you get one fragrance you can get 25 percent off but for a different discount code, which will be Darian50, I'll put that in the description box once again, you will be able to get both fragrances at 50% off. So basically, you're going to be getting two fragrances for the price of one. You can't beat that. Both fragrances, for me, are excellent. I absolutely love this fragrance. And once again, like I said, it is one of those ones. It has definitely passed the test. So it's no longer on a hot seat right now. It is in the rotation. Now with this part foams, Von Aphrodisiac, one of those ones. So, once again, everyone, I want to thank you for joining me today on today's Teddy File for that one of those ones fragrance review, fragrance review. And, again, I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the content because it helps my channel grow. And, once again, my name is Mr. D'Aaron's Teddy. I'm your fragrance sommelier. And over here, we don't do stinks, so please, don't be a stink ace. Have a good evening.